This is the Samsung Galaxy NX. It's the first camera with interchangeable lenses from Samsung to run the Android operating system. How do the two combine? Let's find out. Now the Galaxy NX has a 20.3 megapixel APS-C sensor, which is what you'd usually find on your standard DSLR camera. It's also got a 4.8 TFT HD display on the back for showing up your photos. Powering the Android experience on the Galaxy NX is a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of internal storage for your photos. This is almost the equivalent of what you'd get on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. So it's not a slouch in its processing power or the amount of photos you can store on the camera either. To navigate the camera's settings, you'll be using the latest version of Android, that's Jelly Bean, which also means you can use apps like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram for sharing their photos which you've taken. This is the way that Samsung's trying to sell the camera, so not just are you taking your photos when you're out on holiday, you can share them immediately, and that's because it features Wi-Fi and 4G LTE connectivity too. On the camera side of things, the Galaxy NX tends to work quite well. However, I'm not really sure what Android adds to the camera itself. When you're taking photos, you tend to want a lot of tactile buttons, which obviously aren't offered on a touchscreen display. Add to this that Android is quite clunky to use as an operating system on a camera, and I'm not sure what it actually brings to the Galaxy NX. For more information on the Samsung Galaxy NX, head over to witch.co.uk forward slash technology.